Welcome to BA 213, Principles of Managerial Accounting. So this term, you're going to learn about managerial accounting. So there is a prerequisite for this course. So you should have already taken financial uh, principles of financial accounting to be in this course. And um, so what I want to do here in this video is to give you an introduction, let you know how to get started in the course, and give you some ideas of how to proceed and be successful in the course. So this is the Canvas site in student view. So it's going to look like the Canvas site you're able to log in to as a student. So what, one of the first things you're going to want to do as you get onto this Canvas site is you're going to want to go to Start Here, the Start Here button, and click on the Start Here button and go through the Start Here menu and complete the Start Here or the Getting Started Quiz. So the Getting Started Quiz is going to let me know that you are actively participating in the class and I'll mark your participation with student services and financial aid. So there also is some important information for you to know in the getting started uh, the, the start here module. One of the important things is about the textbook. So I'm going to go ahead and go here and go to the getting started home and go through that. So in the textbook you're going to be able to uh, use the same code that you used last time right so I'll update the video here and you're gonna be able to use the same code here with this uh, link that's on here you need to go to this link and and um, uh, register for this class specifically right you can't use the last uh, class the financial accounting it's, it's a separate class section so you're gonna want to register for that but you don't have to pay for another code Right, so the code should be good from the the first one that you've done all the way through until this one. So it's gonna you're gonna be able to use that if you're new to this class um, and you haven't you didn't do the code last time, but you've already done financial accounting somewhere else. Then uh, you're gonna have to get the code. You can uh, use the 14 day courtesy access if you want to do that as you're setting up and being uh, getting things set up so you can pay for the code. Okay, so the main idea with this class is set up kind of like financial accounting, right? So you're going to be doing the smart book, the learn smart, study assignments. You're going to do the homework, uh, and then you'll have quizzes for each chapter. So one thing that's different about this class is we only have um, eight chapters we're going to be doing this term. So it, that's less chapters than financial accounting. And so we're going to have a little more time to review and to redo those exams and to do some other activities in the course, um, like a field trip, hopefully by the end of the term. So, and I'll let you know more about that as we get towards the end of the term. Uh, exams, there's gonna be four exams in this course. The four exams are gonna be, there's gonna be two chapters per exam, right? And so those are gonna be ready for you when you're, you're ready for them, right? Which means you have to complete the homework and the quizzes for each chapter leading up to that exam. And once you've completed those at least to a 75% level and, some, and hit submit, right, so they're submitted, then you're able to go in and take the exam. Um, for those that are taking this course online, you're going to want to um, read and make sure you know which exams are going to be uh, exams you're going to have to do in the testing center and which exams you can do on your own. For live students, you can do all of those exams um, on your own whenever you're ready for them. So that's one of the differences between live and, and online. The live students I'm able to work with a little bit more and, and kind of know their situation and help them out. The online students, you have that flexibility of doing it in the testing center. So there's also a weekly journal entry. This is the only assignment with a due date in this class. So those journal entries are going to be due every Sunday at midnight. So at the end of the week, make sure to do them. They're easy points and make sure to get those done. Uh, yeah, make sure to take this welcome quiz as well. That's going to be for participation. Going back to the home page, I'm going to click on that and go back to the home home page. There's also a couple other buttons here, right? So you've got all your navigation over on the left, which you can definitely use if you want to. But the other buttons are, are coursework. This is going to take you to the main module page, and also Mr. Bell. That's going to take you to inform, uh, uh, information page about me with all my contact information 
and office hours, times, and all those things. So feel free, come and talk to me anytime. My office is in Barber Hall, uh, room 101A. Uh, you can also um, schedule an appointment with me over the phone or through virtual, through the Zoom tool, which is a virtual online meeting tool if you wanna do that as well. More than happy to meet with you. So one thing that's new about this course this term is as we go to the chapter work, we see that there are there is alternative assignment for the study assignment. So I, I heard that there was um, a little discontent, right, meant with the study assignments. Some students thought they took too long and they didn't like them. So I put an alternative in here. And the alternative is an actual, uh, the, the videos you watch and answer questions. So it's a little different format. Still gonna get you a lot of the content that you need, but it's a different alternative for you. So the, these are these assignments are the same amount of points per assignment. One thing to remember is I'm not going to give you points for both of them, so there's no extra credit. Uh, decide which one you want to do. So this first chapter or two, you may want to kind of look at both of them and see, okay, which one do I want to try for this chapter? And then hopefully by the maybe by the third chapter, you'll know, okay, I'm going to do the the alternative or I'm going to do just the normal study assignment. Either way, you decide and go forward in that ma manner. You can do both if you want to. I'm not going to give you uh, credits for both. I'm only going to give you credit for one. So just so you know that. But that's there just to give you some options, right? Um, so as you go through, I would say do the study assignment or alternative first, then do the exercise homework assignment, then the quiz. Exercise and uh, quizzes again or unlimited attempts so go through and make sure they're done come to me with any questions and we'll work on it and then uh, the, there's also a video that's available there um, you can watch that and then um, you got your journal weekly journal entry that you need to do uh, then you're done with you're done with the chapter right and so move on to the next chapter this is kind of a self-paced mastery based learning course so you can go as fast as you want or you can slow down a little bit if there's a chapter that you need to take a little more time on. Uh, we do have some weeks in this uh, the course where you can, that are going to be catch up weeks. I think week five and week eight are going to be catch up weeks to, to redo quizzes and exams. Um, uh, all of it really needs to be done of course by the end of week 11 which is finals week. That's kind of the, the, um, the due date, right? for all the homework and quiz and, and study assignments. Um, of course, the journal entries are gonna be due throughout, but everything else is gonna be really due at the end, but we're gonna be wanting to do those as we go because we don't wanna leave it to the end. So, so anyways, that's how the course is laid out. Um, you know, again, I'm available. If there's any questions that you have, let me know. Um, I did put an extra credit here at the end. There's a chapter 26 in the book. And so that's an extra credit chapter if you want to cover that. It's a really good chapter. And so that's going to be something you can pick up if your exams, for example, aren't up to where you want them to be. Go ahead and pick up those extra 30 points for extra credit. Or if you happen to miss a journal entry or, you know, as you went along, you could pick this up and it'll help you with that as well. So hopefully this helps. Feel free to contact me with any questions. Thanks. Bye.